Hi everyone, my name is Ivan and we are back in Tharmashadi. There's a new DLC that's coming in about an hour. We're gonna show you a bunch of the new pieces, but of course not everything because we still want things to be a surprise. And I say we because as always, I am joined by one of the best builders in this community, a great guy and a really good friend. Say hi, Mr. Zekin. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zekin, you're not Mike. <laughs> Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh, that was brilliant. And I didn't even have to tell you to do that. <laughs> yeah, Mike is in this post at the moment. He had something that came up and he couldn't uh, record with me. And it was very desperate to find someone to record with me. And Zekin was so incredibly wonderful to uh, come on and uh, record with me. So no I'm gonna problem. leave. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to his video at, in this. Um, in the description and at the end of this video as well and before we dive in i will mention somewhere along in this video i will mention a way for you to win one of the five dlc keys that frontier gave to us that we could give away Ooh. so somewhere along this video we will tell you how you can win this okay but let's start um Zikin, you've had the pack for a few days as well and i think you're very you can very clearly say there is nothing we're looking at right now that has DLC pieces, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's start at uh, the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, we are in Smuggler's Port. Um, when I was a young kid, I had a book about zoos, and that told something about how tourists would usually go to exotic places and try to smuggle an animal with them because they saw like a small, cute animal, thought it would be a great pet, took it home and then realized on, oh shit, oh. this isn't a small cute pet, this is a wild animal. And that happens to a lot of zoos, a lot <laughs> of zoos take these animals in. Yeah, this is something that happens quite a lot. So this entire area is themed around, um, yeah, the, the smaller animals that could easily be smuggled in like suitcases and stuff like that. And, um, yeah. I thought that was a cool way to bring animals in a zoo because most uh, animals are all grouped in like uh, all the same areas and all the geographical locations or species and I thought this was a nice new theme. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty um, creative way to kind of switch things up yeah. so it's not like the usual uh, you're dividing into Asia section or India section but you're kind of getting a little bit of a spice. Uh, yeah. different, so I think it looks great. Exactly. A great idea. So and we're starting with the Babirusa exhibit because this is the kind of animal you see a small little piglet, you're like, oh cute, I'm gonna take it home. <laughs> and then it grows up and it has these weird tusks growing out of it. And you're like, oh yes. what the hell is this? <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can, people didn't come to this video to see animals from the previous DLC, right? I think we should move along and, <laughs> yeah. and look at other stuff. Um, I mean, everybody was happy about the last DLC, oh right? Yeah. Oh, but this time, ooh boy. <laughs> I think this time there is something, and you can already see it, and so you can how long have we ooh. been waiting for this? For this stupid little piece? <laughs> 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 We've been we waiting We finally got the mesh fences. <laughs> finally! Yeah. Um, let's walk into this little walkthrough exhibit. And yes, indeed, we finally have Ooh, mesh pieces yeah. and we finally can wow, make yeah. cover the exhibits like this. And I'm so incredibly happy for it. And again, this exhibit is... Yeah, I, I really love... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, this, this exhibit has like smaller animals like uh, lemurs, because again, those are easily stuffed into suitcases and bags and stuff like that. <laughs> So yeah. Yeah, I I love the the written new mesh pieces and like it's I thought they will only like put one in, but uh we have a couple of really good variety in they, there. They especially even, with the ones without um the frames and yeah. the, and the plain ones, yeah. They they even gave us like half a meter on by half a meter pieces and I was like, what the hell? We don't yeah, usually yeah, get those. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we we got them. <laughs> It's insane, really. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and of course, they let's... finally answered our prayers. <laughs> yeah, and Tim was like, "Oh yeah, we've got a nice little surprise for you." And I was like, "You should have mentioned this in your updates." <laughs> it's insane. Yes. 
But all right, let's continue. We've got a, a small food court over here and in the back, we've got another exhibit. And I think we should go and take a look at it. But before we do that, yeah. there's one little zoo trick that I want to teach people because this is still an educational channel, <laughs> is that if you have a walkthrough exhibit, especially with monkeys or birds or lemurs, you best make a special viewing area outside because a lot of people are afraid of like birds and lemurs and monkeys. Oh, so you, yeah. Yeah, you always have to give them like a chance to see the animals without being super close to them. So that's why I always try to include one of these little viewing areas, even for a walkthrough exhibit like the one we just visited. Yeah, that's great. Okay, but if people have heard enough of me babbling about <coughs> zoos again, <laughs> let's take a look at one of the most amazing additions to the game, the African penguins. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much, man. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's exactly the reaction that I was looking for. Um, Whoa. I love what you did with like the new sticks and made them into like a fence. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fence so, looks pretty interesting. So um, this entire exhibit is based on a, um, an exhibit in a Thailand zoo, and it's uh, the Yurong Bird Park. And it was the perfect inspiration because I knew that with the African penguins, just like the Humboldt penguins, there's a very stereotypical exhibit you can build for them. And I'm not saying that's bad. Yeah. It's just like they have a very recognizable exhibit. And I really didn't want to do that because I was like, everyone is going <laughs> to do that. So I need to find a way to like be a bit more unique about it. And their exhibit is like, just consists of these little tropical islands with lush trees and like a lot of plants and I was like yeah yeah I want to do that and oh, these guys are just yeah. absolutely amazing I love them so much just look yeah at them. they're just incredible that that's the one thing like like at the end of this video we're gonna talk a bit about the DLC and what we think of it but I can already tell you guys the animals are spot on again and I'm so happy that we get like a bunch of animals that are really really common in zoos like the African penguin is is such a staple in zoos it's insane that it wasn't yeah. in the game yet but I'm I'm so incredibly happy with it yeah ah, look at it <laughs> just love, love the habitat <laughs> love how it looks oh thanks uh, man it's kind of foreshadowing my build <laughs> <laughs> Because mine looks kind of more like to the generic ones, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> this yeah. looks pretty impressive. <laughs> but for for all, I, I just want to say like I'm I'm not saying that that is a bad build at all. Oh, definitely. I, I really want I really wanted to do that as well, but I was like, ah oh, shit, if I'm gonna do that, like everyone is going to make something like this. <laughs> but uh, I know for 100% sure that your build is going to be amazing. Uh, I've seen everything you've done so far. It's insane, Thanks, and I know this. Your exhibit is going to be beautiful. Yeah. All Thanks. right. But you, yeah, yours just stands out out of it. Um, <laughs> I like what you did with like the, with like the um, the moss tree, and then you created yeah, a yeah, yeah. new kind of tree out of it. Yeah, I really like that as well. I it it's all based on the on the reference basically because it had that kind of tree. So and there wasn't really a tree in game that had that as well so yeah, yeah i had to make it myself and i really like it and they also in the exhibit had like a bunch of potted plants which i love about these these zoos it's like okay <laughs> you've had like a super lush exhibit and then like a bunch of potted plants and i i love that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right um so yeah let's continue to the next covered exhibit right over there and there seems to be a lot of people over here Ooh. Uh, yeah, and this is the capuchin exhibit. Um, of course, the, these guys don't have a, walk, a walkthrough exhibit, even though Planet Zoo allows that. We know we know better. We know that isn't a thing <laughs> that you can do. But yeah, again, these are the kind of animals that would easily be smuggled and are known to be smuggled a lot and kept as pets, which is really a oh, shame. Yeah, and you shouldn't do that. But yeah, yeah. I just ah. Oh. Look, we give them a lot of slack, and we often say that the climbing isn't that great. 
But then things like this happen, and it looks amazing, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I am. I usually am. do like Michael Jackson dance all over the place, <laughs> <laughs> but that was pretty smooth. That was incredibly smooth, and I'll take every little Michael Jackson move just to have <laughs> this very smooth looking. I'm, I'm I'm afraid to say smooth too much because they're gonna mess up for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but yeah, and I, I'm again. I know we're we're like looking at things that are from a previous DLC, but I'm so glad we get these mesh pieces. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think people are going to be so happy about them, and this is going to open up a complete new world of exhibits. And I'm and I'm really looking forward to everyone, and looking forward to what they're gonna do. And I'm not looking forward to these Putin's throwing boxes at me. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they see that I'm not Mike, so they're like, "Who's this? Get out of here!" You're not the plant guy. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is one of the new plants. Talking about them, this is I have. Oh, yeah. I have no idea how to pronounce them. Is it Doom Palm, or is it something like that? I don't know. But if you <laughs> sink them down, it kind of looks like saw palmetto. So this is oh. like the perfect palms to use for that. Also, the new grass. I can, I Ooh, think I can yes, see it in yes, there. Yes, 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 new grass, of course, and a bit of yeah. the old grass in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this exhibit, I still, it, oh, I love it so much. Okay, but let's let's take a look <laughs> at at something else, of course. Now, um, so before we Ooh. continue, I'm gonna tell everyone how you can win one of the five. DLC keys that we get the giveaway. So just leave a comment, tell us about what you think about the episode, um, tell us what you think about the new DLC pack, and add the hashtag Africa pack to your comments so that we know that it's um, it's meant to be entered into the raffle and that we can give it to you once it's there. So yeah, um, Zeke, and yeah. This, this is one thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, this, ex this, this DLC has a lot of um, themed objects, and they're all a North African yeah. um, theme, and I'm I wasn't sure what to do about it because most of the animals are not from North <laughs> Africa, um, and I wasn't like sure how I felt about that because I understand that for, like for some people that might feel really insensitive because, but on the yeah. other hand. On the other hand, I also understand that Frontier thought like, okay, we already have an African theme and we have nothing to show for the North African theme. So I, I, I really, I really struggled with this area and I wasn't sure if I was going to use the North African pieces, but then it hit me like all the previous animals were also not from, from, um, North Africa. So I wanted to make the meerkats feel and the penguins and all feel even more out of place by it being in a north african um port town so that it's clear that these oh. animals aren't from here so that was kind of my my um my thinking my reasoning behind it i hope it yeah, comes that's, across that's yeah i mean it, it was a difficult thing i wasn't entirely sure and i i felt like i should have I should include these pieces because it's the North Africa, because it's the DLC and it is the theme of the DLC. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I think well, this. Well, yeah, for me, well, um, I feel the exact same way as well because I think most of the stuff I've well uh, built and yet to be shown so far, I kind of like more to the modern kind of a uh, look and feel because it just didn't kind of feel right with me like the yeah the pieces and the animals a bit well. The, I think it's just in the name with Africa Pack, but we'll get to that later on in the video. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But I, I, I can, I can easily see where you come from. But this is one of the exhibits that I've been looking for, forward to, yeah. because these guys are amazing. Ah, oh. <laughs> again, yeah, again, it's another animal that's like spot on. It's just. Exactly, especially like the digging the animations. The digging is so incredible. Yeah. I hope they do it. The one thing that you need to know about the digging is that they don't they don't um, really care about stuff that is put on the ground. They will <laughs> dig right through mm -hmm. it. 
And yeah. honestly, I'm fine with that. I oh, is it? Is, it, uh, is he? Yeah, he's he's digging. He's digging. Yopla! There he oh, goes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, st I'm still struggling with this drone technique of... <laughs> you might have gone. <laughs> the thing I like the most, though, is that the ground doesn't have to be perfectly flat for them to dig into oh, it. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It can be a little hilly. And they dig it over here, and if I'm correct... They teleport to a random place in the habitat. Yeah. I don't think they're here. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There's the other one. Okay. Yeah. And also, once they're like, it's not like once they're done digging, Ooh. it disappears or anything. No, it's yeah. this, and they reuse yeah. it. Yeah, and they can reuse it. Yeah, yeah. That's so. <laughs> it's just a really awesome mechanic. Yeah, and the thing that I like about it the most is that it's super random. It isn't an enrichment piece. It's just like something they do themselves, and it brings in so much life to this exhibit because it it isn't yeah. something man-made. They are living in this habitat, and they are making them the most of it. So yeah. Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Thanks. I really worked hard on this one. It's a little bit large. <laughs> it's kind of based in size on the Edinburgh um, Zoo. They have a pretty large, large exhibit. Theirs is a li little bit deeper. Mine is a little bit wider. But because it is a more recent area, I felt like, okay, they would make more space for these animals. The only oh, yeah, thing that yeah. I, that well, I, from, that I yeah. the only thing that I find a little bit of a shame is that they can't use the big termite mount, the one that came with the oh. South American DLC. They can only yeah. use these, this one, and that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, but you were gonna yeah. say something. I interrupted you. <laughs> Wait, whoa, what was I? Get? Wait, I got. I, I think I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I I interrupt people way no too problem, No problem. <laughs> I'm just very happy about what I've built here. I've been working on this like, for so long. Yeah. <laughs> I did, okay, I, all right. Uh, I think I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, um, go ahead. The, I kind of sort of underestimated the size of the meerkats. I didn't really realize they were really that small. Yeah. Yeah, they're incredibly small. E especially when planning out for the habitat. And that's pretty awesome Like they implemented that into the game, not like uh, they made it big, like the exact realistic size. Yeah. Um, I think because I kind of watch a lot of Lion King and stuff like that, like <laughs> my proportions <laughs> have gone, gotten distorted. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm, I'm super happy we got like, we got it like an actual habitat animal and not like an exhibit animal. Oh I yeah, I feel a lot like of people that. were saying... <laughs> yeah. I, I was really yeah. afraid that they were going to do this. But on the other hand, I know Frontier. We give them a lot of slack and sometimes I feel like maybe we should give them a little bit more benefit of the doubt because they they do go the extra mile for everything that they do. Yeah, so. definitely. Okay, I need to check to something really quickly. Uh, okay, I will need to change something later on, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> I think I did. I didn't. I didn't time my educators that well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No problem. And this is um. This is one of the last exhibits over here. And this is a Fennec Fox exhibit. And the reason why I decided Ooh. to include it is because in the book that I was talking about, this was one of the most prominent animals featured because this apparently appears to be one of the animals that is smuggled um, the most. By tourists. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's such a shame because they see it as a little dog and they're like, oh, it's a cute little dog with a cool fluffy tail and big ears and it's so <laughs> cute. But yeah, no, it's a wild animal. It, it isn't a pet, so. Yeah. Again, it's all in, in the same theme of, of, yeah, of cute little animals that people think, <laughs> ooh, we could have them as pets. No, they are wild animals. And you shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't take them with you. Okay, yeah, I think the fennec foxes kind of fit more with the uh, North African yeah, kind of yeah, style. Uh, 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 uh. Exactly, <laughs> because they are from... Alright, one final thing before we start talking about this pack in a whole. I made one more thing. Ooh. Matondo's show. Okay, little intermission! <laughs> 
someone decided to show up. <laughs> Say hi, uh, Mike. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I, I didn't tell people why you were uh, not here. Yeah, apparently somebody thinks that a pina colada is um, pineapple juice and coconut milk. It's not. <laughs> it made me very well, sick. Uh, <laughs> well, Mike, we were ju we just <laughs> arrived here at the um, at the penguin show, and I'm just gonna talk about this for a split okay. second because the educators are just talking at this perfect mm -hmm. time. So we've got two educators over here. The one guy is in the uh, baseball wow. hoop. Good How job. Did you do this? Uh, I uh, I am a very clever boy. Um, so so we have a penguin show over here. <laughs> it's inspired by <laughs> by the Duzitsu or the Fukitsu. It's one of the two. I forgot it okay. again. Um, and it's the very typical um, marine show. Like you've got a good guy, you've got a bad guy. The bad guy steals something, and they either go up that tower or they go to the other side, and they uh, they talk to each other. And then like one of the penguins needs to save um, the day. Needs to save the yeah. item. Yeah, exactly. So um, hey, by the way, Zeke, the thing that I like. Hey. To Hey, hey, yeah, hey, Zekin, Mike is here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we are such professionals, my God. <laughs> hey, those, those wall pieces look really wow. cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. So all the new wall pieces, and that's something, um, so the blue pieces <laughs> are new plaster pieces. Oh, they and are. And most of the wall pieces, yeah, yeah, so um, they are uh, big plaster yep. blocks and I just Ooh. folded them in ways so that it looks like That's rocks cool. and um, I also but the thing that I wanted to say was that the Africa pack doesn't really come with a new theme it just builds upon the plaster theme uh -huh. and it has a bunch of little plaster pieces and bigger plaster pieces so that you can create all these cool habitats That's very cool Yeah all right, so yeah. let's go to definitely the last... plastipalooza. <laughs> yeah, it's a plastipalooza. Oh, you you can you can be in <laughs> more recordings, Zekin. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this thing? Is this and a this... new window? <laughs> yeah, this is a new window piece. Of course. At, yeah. At the end of, yeah, yeah, it's flexi color as well. So that's super cool. <laughs> Guys, I haven't. Oh yeah, yeah. Back yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention that everyone. We got the Africa Pack expert with us. He has placed every single piece down already. He has an opinion on it mm -hmm. all. That's me. That's me. Um cool. Yeah. All right. So this I'm is sorry, a Dahlia. this is a small I, gift I, show. I, I try, but then I have pina coladas you, and then I puke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This so, cool. uh, this is my gift shop, Mike. That's very cool. <laughs> See, now, I feel like, I feel like Tarmashati is becoming like the DLC showcase park. Because this is <laughs> definitely not in the budget for Tarmashati. <laughs> Uh, 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 it, okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, this, okay, 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 okay. The budget, this, the this budget a, version of this. This was, was this was a lot more. This was a lot more fun when it was just seeking. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't, you shouldn't catch me in. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But seriously though, like all the the windows are very cool, but you yeah. know for a fact that it would just be a painted uh, a painted ceiling it up in that sort of like hole to make it look like. <sighs> well, one day when you're back and you're building in a park again, you can change this. <laughs> okay, I'll, keep, I'll put that on the list. Oh, oh, okay. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <Spit> you. <laughs> I'm so glad he's here. I've missed him so much. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, before I before I forget before I forget, there's a bunch of pieces in this gift shop that were made by the amazing Ricey. I do have to give her credit. That's amazing. She's insane. Is she still doing she Planet made... Zoo? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. She recently did something for uh, our other dear friend, Ruba. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, this is so. Very yeah, cool. uh, you are the king of gift shops. Definitely. Yeah. Ah. Ricey's the king of gift shops. Well, exactly. You're royalty. Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so basically we went over the entire area uh, that I made. Um, so the thing that I want to do now is I want to go back to the beginning and just talk a bit about this new DLC with someone who <laughs> has used this pack a lot. Um, so, uh, Mike, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks... Uh, I mean, that little area looked very Marrakeshy, so that's cool. If you're able to kind of make that, that sort of look. It does look yeah. like Northern Africa. Yeah, um, yeah and Zeke and you, you had something that you wanted to say about that. Uh, earlier, and you were gonna save it till the end. Oh yeah, uh, well, like ninety percent of the animals, well, not well, let's say eighty percent of the animals, are not from North Africa. So that's a bit of like contingency with me, uh, especially with the theme of the pack. Um, I get, I, I get their their thing where they're like um they're planning out and figuring out what they're gonna put with the building pieces, but. I think the fact that they named it North Africa is a bit, yeah. Wait, did they actually name it North Africa? Me a little bit, but yeah, the building pieces are amazing. Yeah, definitely. so the pieces themselves. No, they should have named it North um, Africa. Yeah, but kind of. But they named it Africa, which is kind of like an overgeneralization. Of a continent of yeah. like one of our largest continents. Well, it's the same thing they did with South America, yeah. and yeah, and, and I think it's not like the whole of. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's more because of the fact that these packs are just too small to cover the entire continent. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think it's malintent. I just think yeah, definitely. That's oh, my definitely. that's my only piece of criticism. Yeah, that's the only thing. With, yeah, with this pack, <laughs> um, because because apart from that, Zekin, I think I mentioned it to you. I mentioned it to another to an, a few other people who who had the pack already. Mm -hmm. I don't make these claims lightly, but I think I think this is the best DLC Ooh. so far. Hmm. Every animal that's in it is spot on. Every animal works perfect. I haven't had any bugs. I had a few small bugs with like placement tools, but no animal bugs at mm -hmm. all. And the the scenery pieces and the props. The thing that, that Frontier did with this theme is basically they took the the architecture and they split it up into yeah. very generic pieces. What we've been asking for for um, a while now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they delivered mm. big time. Big time. There's like a bunch of generic wooden pieces. There's a bunch of generic plaster pieces. There all there are all these kinds of little small decoration and pieces. And they're all flexi colors. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Like yeah. I, th I think ninety five percent of the entire pack is flexi color, and the only exception is like things that are like bronze. Mm -hmm. And I I understand that that isn't yeah. flexi color. They started doing that by um, Australia Pack, which I'm still getting my video out on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is this is a this is a major leap forward, and I hope that Frontier keeps doing this. I really hope that they keep deconstructing architectural themes like mm -hmm. that into very generic pieces. And if that's the way they're going, then I'm all for it, and I'm, and I'm sure that the next DLC will be equally as good or even better cool. if they keep this off. Because pieces-wise, animal-wise, it's all spot on. That's cool. Yeah. It's Do you just... see a future DLC? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like we're coming from, up to uh, the end from... of Planet Coaster's usable life. Like once we from from. Yeah, from some rumors we've heard that there's still some things okay, left. Okay, good. And especially with uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2, that brings in some new mechanics and most likely uses the same engine. We might see some cool things in the future. Mm -hmm. All Dinosaurs right, I think Dinosaurs in Planet that... Zoo? Like, comment, yes. and subscribe <laughs> below to tell us what you think. I haven't done this in a long I time. Am, <laughs> I am. So, you haven't done. You have done.
I'm not yeah. the ambassador of Planet Zoo. <laughs> Stop sending me DLCs. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't. I need them for Whoa. my videos. <laughs> <laughs> but again, Zekin, thank you so much. We will link your channel in uh, in the description at the end of the video. We will yes. uh, post things on Twitter for you. Don't worry about it. Thank you if so much. So um, to everyone, wait, wait, wait. if you're somehow subscribed to Even and you're not subscribed to Zekin, then you're you're doing life wrong. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, should, thanks, man. <laughs> you should. You should. I was gonna say you should unsubscribe from me <laughs> and subscribe to Zekin. If you have to, yes. If you have to have what? a net zero. <laughs> Let's not do that, okay? <laughs> Sub subscriptions right, are um, free, guys. Let's let's spread it around. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much to Zekin. Thank you so much to Mike for popping in. Thank you so much to Frontier. Uh, thank you so much to to me for dealing with all the stress that comes with this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I uh, wish you all a happy launch day, and I really look forward to hearing what you think about uh, this DLC. So, thank you mu so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>